actually from you talking about instead of, you know, hi-hat, snare, bass drum, sniffle from a nose, bark from a dog, acoustic natural sounds, is that what you were going for with Download? Or? We were just going for something a little more natural to what we were as people instead of something which was something which was so separate from what we were trying to do, which was seemingly becoming more theatrical instead of less explorative within the musical genre of what we were trying to explore. You mean Cine Papi was becoming too theatrical? Right, yeah. It was taken away from, from the actual direction of the concepts of the music in which we were setting the standards for ourselves to explore. Had you started download during that famous Skinny Puppy California sojourn? Had that already been yeah. in the works? That's where it began, really, in California with uh, Genesis Peorch in a jam one day where we um, were touching upon music that was really affecting us, but of course it was highly uncommercially viable. It was very, um, very intense, and uh, I think after that I found it very difficult to admit that we were exploring the right avenues with Skinny Puppy and not really taking advantage of the fact that we had opened the door that we all all had a big question mark about. The label, you're a label at the time American that accused you of to some degree sabotaging the puppy album that they were financing by working on this project. Exactly. W was that true? Yeah, that's true. And um, accusing us of not, not having the collective incentive, uh, the mind of um, the money-making uh, organization uh, to want to bring forth uh, some sort of very lucrative album instead of just exactly what it was that we did as musicians. Mm -hmm. well, do you think it undermined puppy though? Absolutely. It did? Oh, absolutely. Did you, did you know that at the time? It, it, it wasn't so strong at the beginning, but it became ever so stronger as it as we continued on. It became apparent that we were. Um, it wasn't so much the songs that we came up with. It, it had to. It had to be the final result. It had to be a, a big money-making event. So yeah, it, it was a very frustrating position to be in when the whole reason you start making the music to begin with is to get away from that. I mean, is to make music that you enjoy and that you believe is true to yourself. it in Dwayne that he was losing control? Yeah, oh, very much so, and uh, and it was devastating um, to witness something that you know you have little control over, restoring the sense of, of reality to this person up until they're able to walk away for quite some time from this to realize just how fogged they are by the whole situation. That's the big danger of heroin, is that you believe that you're on another reality when in fact you're, 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 standing, in, um, you're standing in your own mud. so fascinated by the dark side of the element. I know both you and I come out of the Joy Division side of electronic yeah. music almost. Well, let's face it, Joy Division, you said it right there. I mean, who hasn't been moved at one time by, by music? And I think when you're young, you remember these times and you remember what moved you most. And for me, I guess I was really moved more strongly by, by darker music that evoked some, some sort of um, reaction within me emotionally. So I'm still walking that road. Is that parallel by like the Soviet France uh, and some of the other electronic bands during? I think so, because I think ultimately when you're working in those kinds of musics, that don't necessarily rely on the force of uh, or impact of lyrics. 
then you're getting into non-verbal territories and uh, there's so much uh, uh, one has so much innate ability to express all sorts of different powerful uh, feelings through 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 music um, I think it's a really powerful method of communication <laughs> of this band has been completely organic you know we've never set out any sort of marketing strategy or whatever it just happens stage by stage and it's that uh, every stage has felt good so it feels good to be here right now and doing what we're doing this is a far more positive chapter in your careers that Go out and dance and have fun, then. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's all about returning to the whole reason why we started making music. It's friends. It's all friends. Everybody in this band is a friend. We tie together. We have a great time. We're all equal, and we're, we're touching into things that, that, that you know, are, are fun-loving, peaceful, and and uh, we're expelling a lot of, um, of of stuff that makes us feel like we're doing the right thing anyway. In a positive way, putting it through the music. That's it for this week's show. We haven't rented enough satellite time to do 